amazing sound for such a little amp. Hey everybody, it's Dean. I'm going to review the uh, THR5. It's a Yamaha sort of a desktop amplifier. And um, let's turn it on. Uh, basically, I like to summarize immediately, so um, I definitely recommend it. It's got good distortion sounds. It's got amazing lush reverb. You can plug in headphones here and listen to it in the quiet and have the beautiful stereo effects and nice sounding virtual amps ranging from clean to uh, distortion to sort of a heavy heavy distortion as well. So uh, just quickly, listen to that reverb, wow. 25 watts, it has a um, Walwart plug, which I'm not crazy about Walwart plugs, you know, it has the plug with the little plastic heavy part, which is not great. That's the only drawback for me. It's a very minor complaint and um, it has a battery compartment here. There's also a USB. Um, I haven't even looked into that yet. The USB jack here, so I guess you may be able to do updates or something. Where? You can even do ambient stuff with this. It also has an auxiliary input here so you can plug in an mp3 player and have the uh, the music you're listening to and your own sound shared in the speakers. So um, let's see, we'll take you through the amps. This is clean amp. This is clean with nothing, then there's the crunch. Which, uh, which you have the ability to change the sound of this gain here. I'll turn the gain up all the way. That's just uh, straight. I haven't added any reverb. Then there's lead. sound for such a little amp. It uh, really is. Um, that's the lead and then there's uh, British High. Okay, and that's with the gain all the way up. And then there's uh, Modern. You know, the gain's all the way up, you can tone it down a bit. So it's just edging into distortion instead. Incredibly flexible amp. Let's go to clean and then I'll just show you quickly some of the effects. Effects here, you have chorus. Okay, here's the chorus. And I think you can have a degree of chorus. It'll increase a little bit until you switch over to the next area, which is the flanger. Which is great. It was great for distortion as well. So, and what else? We have phaser. And we've 
got uh, Tremolo. Yes, so it does change. There's like a little a little area that's tremolo, and you have some um, variation just moving the knob a bit through that area. There. I know it's obviously not a, a tube amp, but uh, it, uh, it sure does look like a glowing tubes. Now we're not done. We still have, um, that's effects, and then, then you have delay and reverb, which has its own knob. And then there's another reverb. Again, if you move to the very edge of it, you get more reverb. And then you move into spring reverb. And then there's hall, lastly. So you can adjust the sensitivity there. So it's kind of more in the background or just pump it right up. Um, that's great. So, and then it has a tuner where you push and hold and that silences and you can tune your guitar. And I'm just loving it. It's a great little amp. Um, it's nice and light. Uh, you can tuck it away anywhere you want. I highly recommend it. Uh, this is Dean Wolf um, signing off for the Dean Wolf Guitar Channel. Guitar equals happy. Talk to you all later.